Hey guys, so there's been some confusion on how to play our dice games. We have a variety of games to play. So the first one, I'm going to be doing a big tutorial on every game that we have to offer you guys. So the first one we're going to do is the 60 times 2 game. Now this is going to be the better. He's just a practice guy. He's one of my ranks. But this is what's going to happen. So he, bet, he gives me a bet. I roll the dice. He needs to get 60 or higher. And that would be a win. If he had rolled 60, that would be a refund or a re-roll. But since he rolled 93, he gets times 2 his money. Okay, now the second game we're going to teach you is the blackjack game. Yet again, he's going to give you another bet. This time you're going to roll a 10-sided dice. Now once they have at least 12, they have the option to hit or stay. Well, he's going to say hit, but still, you get what I mean. Now he has 15 right now, and he wants to hit again. The object of this game is to hit to get as close to 21 without going over. If you tie with the host, then you lose. So he's rolled 20. Now it's my turn. I have to get 20 or more to, to beat him, which means I have to get 20 or 21. So right now it's 20 to 2. Twenty to seven. Twenty to fourteen. Now I need a six or another seven. If I roll over, I lose. And I busted, so therefore he'd win that one. Yeah, again, he'd win another ten million for that bet. Now the next game. Alright, so the third game we're going to teach you is the over and under game. The object of this game is to call over, or under, or call the 7. If you call the 7 and it actually rolls a 7, you'll get times 3. Depending on the host, you might get times 4 on the bet you're doing. So now he's bet me 5 million, he'll call under. So that means he needs to roll. I need to roll a 6 or under for him to win 10 million. If it rolls a 7 or above, then he loses. If he had called over, he would need to roll an 8 or above. And if I roll a 7 right now and he called that 7, he get times 4, which means he get 20 million. But let's start this one up. And there you go. He's won. Again. Alright, so the fourth game we're going to teach you is the dice duel game. What's going to happen is one of the better is going to trade a host. It can be a wager or a dice duel, but no matter what, it's going to be one roll. This can be versing the host or versing another player, depending on the better. You can you can do multiple people, saying three people or four people, all in one bet, and then whoever rolls the highest will win it. But um, here we go. I'm going to roll. I roll a six. Now he must be roll a six to get a reroll or beat it and he lost that bet alright so the fifth game we're gonna teach you is the three times two and six times three game now you're gonna use a one-sided or one six-sided dice and what's gonna happen is you need to roll a three to get times two your money and you need to roll six to get times three your money. If it's anything else then you you've lost. So yeah, two would be a lose. And now the last game my friend chat has to offer is the um, odd and even game. It's fifty percent no matter what you do. All these dice doesn't matter what dice you use it's all gonna be the same. It's always a fifty percent chance of winning which is what a lot of people like to try out. But what's going to happen is he's going to call odd or even, and then I'm going to roll. So we'll pick whatever dice. He's picked the odd, so we'll roll the 12 sided dice. And that's an even number, so therefore he'd lose. And that's basically all it has to offer in my clan. You, can, you have a choice, or depending on the host, of what they want to do on that day. Most of my hosts are starting to do over and under and 60 times 2. But, and, uh, 
you might find some people that want to do wagers because they like the 50% chance and guaranteed their money back. So um, I guess that's it for this tutorial, and I uh, hope you enjoy the French chat and understand a little bit more of what we do. And good luck, Dyson.